We're here in Kent today to have a look at one of the number of projects we've been testing um, in urban settings to see how trees can be planted compared to how we've done it in the past. This, this uh, trial plot here in Kent is um, looking at, at trying a Miyawaki style of planting next to a controlled version. It's nice that we've had the opportunity to plant them directly side by side so you can really see the difference as how it has turned out. So this is our Miyawaki trial plot. This is our kind of showcase one for the project. This one was planted in February 2021, so it's now in its third summer of growth. We're at Parkwood Recreation Ground, which is owned by Maitland Borough Council. It's an urban green space, and surrounded by a house and estate. And then behind us, we have an ancient woodland. So this area used to completely be covered by woodland historically. It was cleared after the Second World War to build the house and estate and this land was actually the builder's yard during the construction of the houses which meant that the soil here was really poor quality because it had a lot of builder's sand and a lot of waste material mixed into it. So when we were planting the trees there was no worms here at all. It was really degraded soil, really compacted from all the heavy machinery that had been going over it. For our trial, we have our experimental side, which is the Miyawaki style of planting, and then we have this control side, which is just traditional planting. And then we have a three metre gap separating the two. So the concept of a Miyawaki planting is to sort of more instantly create what would be a woodland that might naturally appear after over decades and decades of growth with its different strata layers of different kinds of heights of trees and things and understory plants but the concept um, is to just basically put them all in at the start and give them more of a kind of natural woodlandy style setting based on what would have what we think would have been here originally. And what we're looking at is this amazing difference between these two halves. We're looking at the, the Miyawaki project, the mini forest on the behind me, and then the control that's happened next to it. And what's happened is we've just got good, good ground preparation. It's been planted properly, it's been planted well. And the difference is astonishing. And what we're after is, is learning from this. This is an experiment. This is trying to do things a bit differently from the way we've always done it. And using different ideas and thought processes to come up with better ways of planting trees. When Akira Miyawaki conceived his revolutionary new approach to woodland establishment, it had resilience at its very heart in terms of protecting communities and in protecting the landscape. And as we move into an ever more uncertain future with climate change and all the challenges around growth, and new diseases, new pests and pathogens entering the country has never been more important. The Miyawaki method involves firstly making sure the soil is really healthy. So you want to aerate it, we used a mini digger to dig out the soil to about one metre deep and then just turned it over and dumped it back on as a little mound on site. Then we added mycorrhizal fungi and lots of other biological materials to improve the nutrient content of the soil. We then planted the trees really densely, so this side is three to five trees per square metre, whereas the control plot is only one tree per square metre. And the density increases the competition between the trees, which makes them grow a lot faster. We also used a really wide variety of species, so there's about 40 different tree and shrub species in here and that's the aim is to replicate what you'd find in a natural woodland. And we've also got different species for the different canopy levels of the woodland, so like the ground, shrubby species, the medium tree species and the taller ones as well. So in this experiment, we've also done something different where we've packed in a whole range of different species into a very small area to try and provide species that grow well together, provide species that work to encourage the others up. 
And in that, we've created opportunities for biodiversity, opening up the opportunities for lots and lots of insects. And the really exciting thing will be to follow that over the next few years to see whether the density of species actually impacts the biodiversity. And if it does, then that's fabulous because we're creating these little mini nature reserves all across the country, which will be fabulous for wildlife. We use the concept of potential natural vegetation, which is where you identify the species that would be in an area if it wasn't for human activity. So that is why you want to use as many different native species as possible. Here in Kent, obviously the landscape used to be much more diverse than it is today and we've tried to replicate that historic landscape in our tree plot here. So we've included some more rarer species such as small leaf lime, purging buckthorn um, and box as well. And these slightly more unusual ones are really, really good for wildlife because they're not that common in our landscape anymore. And we're trying to create opportunities for trees to grow in other places. And on this playing field, in the past, there has been real problems of vandalism and other things that have stopped the trees from establishing. But in the Miyawaki, that hasn't happened because it's a bit denser. So we have so many more trees surviving. And that means that you've got a greater chance that the trees will grow. We found that the trees in the control are much more vulnerable to vandalism. Last year we had quite a few instances of the trees being snapped off as well as damage into the fencing but the trees in the Miyawaki plot have been absolutely fine and we think that's because of the density of the planting and the height of the trees which is another reason the technique is so successful. In addition to the threat and risk to our woodlands and the problems that we have with establishing new woodland we've, such as increased frequency of severe weather, the periods of drought, the high winds, the flood and all of the other issues and all of the pests and pathogens and new diseases we, we face. There's also a big challenge in parts of the UK from significant population growth and from development and for our pilot trials for the Miyawaki plots we deliberately chose some of the tougher neighbourhoods in, in areas where we've had problems establishing trees in the past. That I think has been really, really important lesson we've learned because we've seen control plots which are easy to get amongst the trees and shrubs, they're very small, they're easy to break. We've seen them just snapped off in, in mindless vandalism. But the Miyawaki plots, because they're established so quickly, within a year they become an impenetrable thicket. So therefore it's very difficult to do any damage to them. The benefits of using the Miyawaki method in urban areas is that the fast growth rates of the trees increase the ecosystem services provided to local residents. So that includes absorbing carbon, absorbing air pollution, buffering noise pollution, absorbing rainfall and obviously all the benefits it provides to wildlife as well. It also gives local people an opportunity to connect with nature. And it's really striking the difference that we've seen, um, how, how much the trees have come on, how much they've grown, um, how much they've supported biodiversity and the community actually in this urban setting here in Kent. So it's nice to at least think that we've hopefully got some tools in the armory to establish trees in the next decades ahead. If we get five or six trees out of this to become mature specimen trees, that would be perfect because we're not actually trying to create little tiny woods. We're just trying to give the trees the best chance to establish. And in that we get the chance for new tree creation across all sorts of areas of the country. We've just worked out nationally that there's 12% of the country is covered in woodlands, but nearly 3% of the country is covered in small groups of trees. We didn't know that until very recently, so we want more of this. There's so many more opportunities to get more trees into the countryside, not as big woodlands, but as small groups, and we need the right techniques to do it to achieve that effect. As we get a warming or heating climate, as we get far more international trade, we're seeing all sorts of novel and bacteria and fungi and so on. We have things like ash dieback, which has had a, a, a significant impact in Kent. And that is one of the challenges when you've got a tree which is, is dominant. We, we've lost that complexity that we once had. The ancient wildwood 
was not single species stands. It was a whole mixture of tree species and that's what the Miyawaki method seeks to recreate and recreate fast. And we've been measuring the um, survival of the trees, which species are faring better than others, the establishment rates, the growth rates, the wider biodiversity, so all the kind of other plants and animals that have been turning up in the plot and we're also going to be measuring the carbon and nitrogen content of the soil before and after the experiments ended. And through the trees establishing, the trees becoming more resilient to all everything that nature and, and man is throwing at it, means that it supports wildlife as well. And, and within our Miyawaki plots in Kent, we've seen some real rarities. We've also seen some really interesting fungi, things like hare's foot incap, and that in Kent, that's a real ancient woodland indicator fungi, and it's turned up on these, you know, former building site, uh, sandy, uh, compacted uh, recreation grounds because the soil has been properly prepared. From our surveys, we've realised that the experimental plot has recorded twice the amount of biodiversity than the control plot, so it has twice the amount of additional animal and plant species in it than the control. It's also had a 99% survival rate, whereas this has had a 75% survival rate, and that included during the really bad drought we had last summer. The Miyawaki plot is able to hold on to its leaves much later in the autumn compared to the trees in the control plot. Our analysis has shown that the cost of establishing trees in the Miyawaki plot is 30% cheaper than it is in the control plot and that is because it has a much higher survival rate. Another great thing about this trial plot as well is that it's given other local practitioners confidence in the Miyawaki methodology because they can see just how well it's worked here. We have six other plots in Kent and we have some in Norfolk, Cornwall and Chichester who are replicating this trial in their own areas. Because for climate change we have to have more trees across the country, we have to have more shade, more opportunities for wildlife. And this is giving us a really cheap and effective way of doing it. Now, word is getting round, and we're seeing an, a number of Miyawaki schemes growing up in the, the most unlikely of places, in, in the middle of cities. And I think we're now seeing severe weather impacts where coastal communities with risk of landslips and subsidence and tidal flooding issues and so on, we now need that defensive planting and I think the Miyawaki scheme it, it, it has remarkable properties and abilities to defend the communities it shares. The Tree Council uh, really brings people together for their love of trees um, and so it's been really nice to take part in this project with our partners at Death Row Natural England and Kent County Council and other local authorities as well. I feel really proud about what we've been able to achieve with this project and for not just myself but also the local residents, everyone's enjoyed seeing the two different sites develop and watching the different growth rates. It's really nice to be able to share this work with you here at the Urban Tree Festival. Um, hopefully some of you will be able to pop down and have a look and really see for yourself the difference that the Miyawaki method has, has made here.